everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video so um saw a story today about an incident coming around um back in july on royal caribbean the little girl i don't know if anybody remembers this story fell while the family was stopped in puerto rico and she fell out the window and she passed away and the family were blaming the cruise line saying that they you know a window shouldn't have been open it was a lot of different stories that i read about this and at the time i didn't want to cover the story just because it was just so sad like 18 month old baby just you know so precious just starting her life and anytime something happens to a, a little kid it just makes me so sad but i didn't like how the family like you know families are grieving i get that but they immediately blamed the cruise line they you know they said that the grandfather had the baby near near um they were on the 11th deck and she crawled to a window where he had her he put her down by a window because she likes to she likes windows and glass and said she you know fell through but now he's been charged um with negligent homicide they're saying that he which i originally thought that you know he sat her on the rail and i guess she wiggled and she slipped through his fingers but they were saying no that's not what happened they were blaming the cruise line um he was saying he didn't know that there was an open window when he sat her up there it was all really confusing um and royal caribbean has not given um they haven't put out like surveillance i guess maybe there is video um but they haven't released it but it is all it makes you really wonder like because i even in my uh, in my video a few months ago when i was on the bahamas paradise cruise and i was looking out a window y'all remember that clip and i was and i even mentioned it then i was like you, how can you not know there's not a window there these windows totally off topic but y'all see how these windows are i can't believe they try to say they didn't know it was not a window there when that poor baby fell out the window last month anyway that a window was open cruise ships windows are filthy <laughs> even though they clean those windows every day they're always dirty just because of seawater and all that but i said that and i remember somebody commented and was telling me i was giving fake news or something like that but it just like i guess you know as a family i don't know how i would do in that situation because i've never been in that situation but um for them to blame the cruise line and not not just take ownership that you know be, because you had one bad decision and that's all it takes is one bad decision we've seen this so many times with people falling off of decks and doing this and doing that. You know, the girl just got banned for life because she climbed off her balcony. You know, one bad decision can trickle so many other things. And he made a bad decision by putting her up there on the 11th floor, you putting her on this, and then it happens, you know? It has happened many times. Kids are fast, kids are quick, kids are slippery. But I don't know, I guess, and this whole situation is just terrible because now he faces charges. Um, I got the article here and they're saying that um, he was charged with negligent homicide and he has a bail of like $880,000. Um, but they found cause to arrest him. Um, I guess they've just been continuing doing investigations and it's just it's just sad and you know for them to say that the window shouldn't be open i think that that's just saying like you know they're trying to i get i get it they're trying to justify that their baby passed away and i can't imagine the heartache that they're going through but it it, it happened it was a bad decision on his part and this poor baby now has to rest in peace but 
it's just tragic. It's all really tragic. And I hope that they can come up with some kind of um, solution that will appease the family, which I guess nothing ever will because if he does get convicted, now he'll have to either do jail time or probation or whatever. Nothing will bring the baby back. I know that they have a, um, a suit, a lawsuit pending against Real Caribbean. Um, so no telling what the outcome of that will come. Uh, but like I can sit from this side because I'm not in this situation. I can say like I right now, I feel that I don't think they should be suing Real Caribbean. They didn't do anything. But had that been my baby, maybe I would be like, oh, I'm going to sue. Just because suing is the easiest thing that we can do. Um, maybe I would do that in that situation. I would hope I wouldn't. But I don't, honestly, I don't think that, I don't think that they should um, sue. Honestly, I don't think the grandfather should be charged either. It was an accident. You know, I don't think, uh, I would hope he wouldn't. Put her up there thinking she would fall and be okay with that no that's just ridiculous um but i don't i think that probably what he's gone through so far and what he will continue to go through i think that in itself is punishment enough but i don't think that they should try to you know dismiss the fact that he just made a bad decision and I don't think that the Royal Caribbean should have to pay for it. But, you know, that's the that's the world we live in today. Yeah, it's a shame. So, I think, we, I think they should just somehow come to some kind of conclusion as fast as possible so that this family can move on and everything because i know that this is like really really tough for them like really tough all right um we'll keep an eye on this story and hope that i know that they have a hearing set for november um like november 20th so hopefully maybe they can come up with a quick solution although i don't really know what that solution could be <laughs> It's this is a bad situation all around. I do thank you for watching. Um, you know, this this is a really sad situation, but I do pray for the family. I pray for their healing and their strength to get through all of this and not hold, you know, not hold many life grudges against each other or against the cruise line. And I just hope that they keep that baby's memory alive for as long as possible appreciate you stopping by thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye